Now here's Emma with events. The deadline for late work is coming up next Tuesday. Ask questions to your teachers if you're confused. Good luck! What are you up to at home when you're not in school? The yearbook wants to know. Send in your photos at gg.gg slash yearbook and you might even win a prize. Don't wait until it's too late to order the yearbook for a year we'll never forget. Order it today on the Fairmont Web Store. The student I have chosen for for 7th grade Falcon of the Week is Kaylee Hutchinson. Although shy, Kaylee is a superstar in class and online. Kaylee is always making sure she is turning in top-notch work and doing the best she can academically to be successful. Kaylee is super sweet and, is, and has the best attitude. Great job, Kaylee. Paige McKenzie, Falcon of the Week. From the beginning, Paige has been a model of the Falcon values. Paige shows up to class with a bright smile, great attitude, or hot cocoa, and ready to learn. Thank you, Paige, for being an awesome human. Logan has been working hard from day one this semester. He participates in class and online. He asks great questions and is willing to help others when needed. Keep up the great work, Logan. Hey, Fairma, I wanted to give a quick update about who won the Spirit Stick competition for Spirit Week that we did the week right before we went on Thanksgiving break. Uh, overall, the Spirit Stick competition changed a little bit this year. We did the change drive in the library, and overall, we were able to raise a pretty little decent amount to donate to Fairmont families in need for this holiday season. So great job. Thank you to all that participated and all that donated to make this what it was. Um, overall, we were able to donate $127.40 which hopefully will help out at least one or two families over the holiday um, season. And the winners of the Spirit Stick for the fall of 2020 are ninth grade. Again, ninth grade raised $68.33. Eighth grade raised $33.09. And seventh grade raised $25.98. So again, thank you to everybody that donated. You guys did an awesome job. Um, it was nice to have a little bit of that Fairmont spirit back within our building that week. Thanks, Emma. Now here's Hannah with Avid Student of the Month. Hello, Fairmont. I'm Paul Altoffer, and I'm really lucky because I am an avid teacher here at Fairmont Junior High. And one of the strengths of our program is tutorials. Tutorials are on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and this is a time where students can actually fill out a form and they can come and get some help. We work together as a small group and the students that we are going to hear from in just a couple of seconds have done an outstanding job this month. And that's what our focus has been for the month of November. And what, another great thing is you get to pet a lot of cool dogs here at school. Come here, Nala. Come here. Come here. Good job, students. Kayla is a great combination of stellar attitude, awesome effort, compassion for others, and a motivation to learn. In my AVID 7 class, she is always prepared and willing to participate. Kayla has a very bright future ahead of her and will have great success. Congratulations, Kayla. For AVID Student of the Month for November, I've chosen Caden Polanis. Caden has been a positive, encouraging, collaborative student from the very beginning. He is thoughtful and insightful and always positively contributing to any tutorial group he is a part of. Caden is a hard worker who has shown from the very beginning of school that he is willing to put forth his best effort. Thank you and good job. Nikki Whittington is who I have chosen for the ninth grade AVID Student of the Month. Nikki has been an awesome student from the very beginning. She is a motivated student, always participating in class and making school a priority. 
Nikki is someone I can always count on as a great collaborator, both online and in person. She works to add so much to the group and helps others along the way. Thank you, Nikki, for being such a great example for our school. Thanks, Hannah. Now here's Isabella with a game show. <laughs> It's a game show. I'm your host, Isabella, and this week our topic is how to finish the semester strong. So let's get started. Our first question is, what can you do between now and the end of the semester to bring up your grade? Uh, watch a bunch of Netflix. Wrong. No. <laughs> Obviously that won't bring up your grade at all. Uh. I don't know, turn in missing work? <laughs> Correct! A really great way to bring up your grade is to actually turn in the work you have inside. Nice job! You get 10,000 points. 10,000? That's right! 10,000 points is a totally reasonable number to assign. Next question! What should you do if you are confused about how to complete an assignment? Uh, just sit around and wait for it to come to your head, like magic. Huh? That is very, very wrong. You obviously have no clue whatsoever what you're talking about. Maybe ask the teacher for help. <laughs> That's right. If you're not sure what to do, asking the teacher is always a great option. Seven million points to you. Seven million? What? Come on, that's not fair. Oh, and that's how we start out of the show! That was the winner! Remember, there's still time to end your semester strong. That's all we have for It's a Game Show. Thanks for joining us! Thanks, Isabella. Now here's Emma with Teachers Got Talent. Welcome to Teachers Got Talent. This week we have Mr. Wiesenhahn versus Mr. Kloppenberg. First, we have Mr. Wiesenhahn. Thanks, Mr. Wiesenhahn, and now here's Mr. Kloppenberg. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. Take a look at the five and ten, glistening once again, with candy canes and silver things that go. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Toys in every store. But the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be on your own front door. A pair of hop along boots and a pistol that shoots is the wish of Bonnie and Ben. Dolls that will talk and will go for a walk is the hope of Janice and Jen. And mom and dad can hardly wait for school to start again. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. There's a tree in the Grand Hotel, one in the park as well. It's the sturdy kind that doesn't mind the snow. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Soon the bells will start, and the pretty 
loveliest sight to see is the holly that will be on your own front door. Sure, it's Christmas once more. Thanks, Mr. Koppenberg, and don't forget to vote at the end of the video. Don't forget, stay classy, Fairmont. Thanks, Emma. And to all the teachers that participated, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for tuning into the newsroom. <sighs> Watson! You forgot to turn off the camera! My name is Charlie.